Hey everyone, it's Mr. Hoffman, and uh, this is the last assignment of the marking period, and it's the last music assignment of the school year. So really excited. We're almost to the end. Just got to get through this one more thing. So the purpose of this reflection assignment is for you to think about your musical learning during the third trimester. Let's dive in. On this assignment, you'll answer the questions on every slide. The assignment will be graded on completion only. Um, so as long as the uh, as long as the questions are completed and fully completed, as long as you've answered the questions, you're good. There's no right or wrong answers. All of the questions that you have to answer have that red question mark next to it. And you'll look for one of these symbols to know how to answer. If it's a pencil, you'll write your answer. If it's a curvy arrow, you'll move the circle onto your answer, or you can move the answer onto the circle. Either one works for me. You can record a video of you speaking your response, pardon, speaking your response out loud for any questions. And I wanna emphasize this. There are no wrong answers on this assignment. I just want you to be honest. Um, this is asking you to think about your learning. It's also asking you to tell me some of your feelings about how music class went. And I'm looking for you to be honest. If there were things that you didn't like, then I want to know about it so that I can either change it or address it somehow. And if there were things that you really did like, I want to know about it so that I can keep doing that or make it even better. Um, so really, I do just want you to be honest, respectful, but honest. Uh, and when you finish, check your work to make sure that you've answered every question. So the next three slides from here are going to ask you about the assignment that you enjoyed the most, the assignment that you enjoyed the least, and the assignment that helped you grow the most. You're going to pick one for each slide, answer all of the questions on the slide for that assignment or activity. So you can see here on all three of these slides, we have the uh, this list of assignments. We have on this slide the one that you enjoyed the most, the one that you enjoyed the least, and the one that helped you grow the most. So uh, on, on this one, you'll see that once you, uh, once you answer this question, which assignment did you enjoy the most, you're going to uh, drag the circle over to the assignment that you enjoyed the most. Let's say it's this one. And notice that it does show up behind. There's just no way for me to fix that. There's no way for me to uh, to make that uh, the way that it should be. So um, just go with it. I'll know which one as long as it's sort of like this. Now, if it's like between them, then I don't really know which one you're picking. But um, as long as it's clear to me which one you, you've chosen, uh, it's fine by me. Like I said, you can also click and drag the assignment over to the circle. Um, so I'll just put that back. Notice there are two questions along the bottom. Keeps accidentally switching sides. Sorry about that. Um, two questions along the bottom. What did you learn while completing the assignment? And why did you enjoy this assignment? And for, um, for this one, uh, the assignment that you enjoyed the least, it's asking again, what did you learn while completing the assignment? And why did you not enjoy this assignment? You do have to answer these questions at the bottom. Lots of easy points, easy, easy points that people miss on these assignments because they don't answer these questions. So don't let that be you. On the very last one, which assignment helped you grow the most? That might very well be the one that you liked the most or least. That's fine by me, as long as you are still answering these questions along the bottom. Either way, you should be answering these questions along the bottom. What did you learn? And did you enjoy the assignment? Why or why not? On the next few slides, the next two slides from here is a survey. So you will, re you will respond to the statements on that slide by moving a circle onto the option that is true for you. Uh, there, there are three options for each statement. There's an option that for I agree, an option for I'm in the middle, an option for I disagree. If you circle I disagree for any of the statements on either of the next two slides, you should explain why at the bottom of the slide. Um, and just a sentence or a few words that just helps me understand why you felt that way. Um, and again, honesty, um, uh, if, you know, uh, if you didn't feel like you learned a lot in this class and you disagree, I want you to put, I disagree. And then I want you to explain why. Um, if, if you 
did feel though that you learned a lot in the class i want you to put agree um it, again honesty is the name of the game um so there are six statements three on this slide three on the next the first statement is i learn a lot in this class the second statement is i feel challenged in this class the third statement is i am clear about the goals for this class again if you circle i disagree you need to explain why in the box at the bottom if you are i agree or i'm in the middle for any of it you can definitely tell me why in this box but i'm not asking you to if you do put i disagree again i need an explanation at the bottom that helps me improve the class so the next three statements are the content of this class connects to my life my teacher respects me my and my teacher has high expectations for me again any disagreement, I need to know why down here. I won't hold it against you. There's no hard feelings. I just need to know why. It just helps me become a better teacher and make the class better for all of you. So the very next slide is a conclusion slide. After you answer these questions, you're gonna make sure that you've, uh, that you've completed every slide in the slideshow. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's just three questions plus just an extra thing. The, th the three questions are, what do you enjoy most about music class? Everybody has something that they enjoy the most. What should Mr. Hoffman keep the same or continue to do in the future? Also, uh, you know, everyone has something that, uh, that they liked or that, and that they want to see more of, I think. And then uh, what could Mr. Hoffman improve or change about music class? And um, I know a lot of us like to say, I'm not sure or, um, or nothing and try to think of something. Again, I don't think that I'm a perfect teacher. So I am looking for your feedback to make this class better for you and for the students who come after you. There's just one last question on this slide, which is, do you have any other thoughts questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions you would like to share. And this is an optional question. You're not going to get uh, any points off if you don't do it. It's just a space for you to write anything else that didn't really fit in with any of the other questions. Um, again, I really appreciate anything that you write here. Thank you so much for watching this video and for completing the slide. Congratulations on all of your hard work this year. I'm so proud of all of you, and I cannot wait to see you in seventh or eighth grade music next year. Bye.